No, no, no. Okay, I put the microphone on now. <laughs> so, is it working a little bit better now? I have a feeling it should be a little bit better as my CPU usage just went down quite a lot. But I don't know from your guys' ends if it's a little bit better. Hopefully it is. Better? Yes, thank god. Thank god, it was just probably a little bit too hard on the CPU usage in the beginning with that video and the spooky stuff. Okay, so guys, welcome back. This is a new video, this is probably one of my first actual streams that I can do with my iOS device. And I'm happy to have it now and it's way smoother than it was before with my Android. And today's cup is just the, the Cortree cup. So I've seen pictures of it online, having different rewards, like some foolish ones like 2 RP and a small amount of gold and it's like just that's, those are the like the tricks and then you have the treats which are high RP and high gold and high money and I, I'm quite stuck to see that event to start off what I want to know what I want to let you guys know is that you can actually run with the LB as well with the Liberty Walk as well but as I upgraded my regular one more I will be using my regular one but as you can see guys I will show you guys how you can run with the Liberty Walk as well so it's not maxed out so yeah it's 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 not the fastest one out there but it's something hi everyone in the stream you really get 10 gold keys at the end i didn't know hopefully it does because i'm really stoked if i can get 10 gold keys of it look at the background i love how in the background they did like a spooky kind of theme with the ghosts etc this is basically an event for the ghost face right there you will definitely love this okay let's try this out let's try this race out Ooh. See, it's not the fastest car out there. I'm used to a little bit going a little bit faster. Well, to be honest, 50 silver keys is still not a bad reward, is it? I'd rather get 50 silver keys with a prestige cup car coming up than getting gold keys that I'm never gonna use anyways. So yeah, in my opinion, I'd rather get the 50 silver keys. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I gotta treat the first race, the second race. 30,000 cash. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can buy a tier one car with that. I can buy a new Abarth if I wanted one. Oh shit, oh right, right, the story. So, what I like the most about this event is that there is literally a story attached to it. To begin with, there was a thingy that said it started all two years ago. And every race I think we will get a little bit part, like a little part of it. Just like a little part of it, and then we will see if it's actually what the full story will bring. So I'm quite interested with this. So oh, things were tense in Los Derivas at the time. Okay, let's see what this brings. We have to wait every race for one line. Damn it. Okay, but I'm gonna be using my Assetti Hellcat, my regular one. It's a little bit faster, it has a little bit more upgrades to it. Still misses two stage six considering I have the, this is one of my first cars I had ever in game. But yeah, let's see what it brings. So if you guys look, I want to show you guys, I I prefer having silver keys rather than gold keys, as silver keys are a bit more useful. Oh, let's see. Oh, wait. This is interesting. I'm going to open first. Quickly, my free rates for the day. Thing really not bad. Oh, I'm Plymouth Bart. I might use that one. Okay, let's see. Ooh, seventh crate. World of Fate and the Furies event. Tomorrow I'll be buying the Murcia and I'll try to make a video of it tomorrow evening as well. Okay, shit. Bad. Bad. Ooh, that's kind of good. Not so good. Not... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, thank you. Thank you a lot, Hobbs. But at least I'll be getting a loyalty reward. Let's see what that gives me. Body. Ooh. I'm, I'm happy with the body one. It would be cool if the Enzo would come to the game, but the downside of the Enzo is that it's a pretty old car. Like, it's a car... If you notice, there's a, there is a pattern with all the cars being added to the game, which is that... All the cars added are the most recent ones out there. Like, you get, like, Della Ferrari Aperta, uh, you get, uh, you, you get La Ferrari Aperta, you get the new Liberty Walk events as well. Same as M4 GTS, those are all new cars added to the game. Well, on the other hand, you had, like, those old cars, like, the Enzo, the McLaren F1, the Maserati MC12. All those cars won't be added to the game, sadly, as those are not really very new cars like recently brought out and that's why we also get those aero packs basically because they are 
like focused on getting out so many new cars, but it's just not working out. Okay, let's see. Let me upgrade this one real quickly, and then we'll get back to the cup. I just got this loyalty reward, reward thingy. Just want to speed up this car so it doesn't become a dust collector and all. Okay, so now let's go back to our Alka. Tier one, tier two, tier three. I order my garages, by the way, by having like tier five first, and then I'll go down like that. It's very organized. My OCD is very happy with that. Okay. Oh, the CLK, the CLK GTR would be a lovely car in game. I would absolutely love that one. Okay, let's try now. Third race of the Trick or Treat Cup. Let's see if we can get a Trick or a Treat this time around. I have had two treats. I've got 50 Bronskis so far. And 30,000 cash. Oh, look at the great... Like, my car just became grey all of a sudden. Didn't expect that to happen. Samuel, by the way, yeah, so besides Samuel, I've heard people complain about this issue where the game actually lags a lot after you collect the final day of the rewards of your Jerry's calendar. To fix that issue, you just have to turn off the... Oh my god, it's a trick. Five cash? Oh, really? Um, this is going to be very, very useful, really. But no, if you ever have any lagging game on iOS, I think it is. I think it's fixed now because today they brought out a new update. But besides that, the trick to fix that is just go to notifications in game and turn those off and that should actually work okay let's see now what has jerry to tell us today like what's now local warehouses has been violently broken into and the police hadn't caught anyone yet it sounds interesting so we know it's in las derivas a couple of years back and a local warehouse It's a nice feature. I've seen it as well on Facebook. I was surprised. I thought that was only with the gray one, uh, with the green one. But this one actually, it, it's a lovely idea. I love the concept of the event in general. I remember last year we had an advent calendar one where we had to race every day one race to actually get ten goalkeys at the end. That one was actually amazing. Okay, let's see now. Race four. Race four. This one's gonna be a treat. This better be a treat. The event itself is not really that hard, but I'm hoping to see any, maybe, Thanksgiving event coming up soon. And who knows, maybe a advent calendar again. And those players who have been around for a year already know that there has also been snow around on the map. Yeah, that those kind of notifications, uh, Malashi, hopefully I pronounced your name right. I don't want to go, like, down online with people watching me. You call that a treat? A common fusion part for dodge. Wow. It has been a tiring day. Donna has delivered cars and just stayed home as she was sick. Okay. Getting interesting, kind of. I wish they would add those old cars back into the game. But if, on the other hand, you can, all, you can get all those old cars back in CSR 1. Which is also a pretty, pretty awesome game if you think about it. Like, I loved CSR 1. CSR 1 is the first time I actually played it. And... Since then, I, it took me quite some time before I got to CSR 2 as I didn't know about the game yet when it was out. And once I fi figured out it was out, I just kept on playing. Uh, pff, Lucas, what my favorite car is? <clears throat> that, one is that one is a tricky one. The thing is, I say that so many times in my videos, I know this one is my favorite, this one is my favorite. But right now, in game, I would definitely go for the Vulcan. I think the Vulcan is... So far, the sexiest car we have in game available right now. It just looks amazing. Like the GT3 spec of it is like pff, amazing. Charge, trying to charge it at the same time. Ooh, this is a treat again. 10,000 crew RP. I can use that. I can use it definitely after our. Last season, as you can see on top, but already 14 million with the crew already, and we're not even a week far. Far, that's really that's really good. I decided to play the I decided to play the arcade. I decided to play the arcade to blow off some steam and lost track of time. Damn, Jerry, you've been playing too much games lately. I don't want to edge. I don't want to watch. I got enough gold for guess at the moment. So thanks. 
Reese. The thing is, like, our crew, as you can see, I've, I don't know if you've seen my video where we finished 11th, and uh, we finished 11th last season with a total score of around 120 million. Well, that, that's insane. That that's just really is a huge number. That's around an average of 3.8 to 4 million a person. That is just crazy. So if you can put up any of those numbers, like if you really just hit me up, you know how to message me, then you can surely join our crew. But if you can do a little bit less score than that, we have some subcrews. Uh, I won't be making any like recruitment posts on Facebook about it. And who knows, maybe you can ever join one of my subcrews. There is a guy that actually followed me on YouTube here and he got into my crew. His name is Kung Fu Panda. He's an Android player. He's an immense good Android player. He's like, really, he's really good. And he actually joined my crew last season. He ran with us for the top 10 run. Oh. A tree dying? How is this possible? Oh man, I need to get my power bank. Wait, let's see, let's see. Okay, this is a treat first. Uh, Rican, my Facebook is just private, but you can mostly find, even if it's private, you can find me mostly in the CSR2 community group, or even, like, there are different groups on Facebook where you can find me, and I post a lot on there, and I message, and I help lots of people over there. Ten silver keys, this is good, this is good. I, I, I like this, I like this. Okay, let's see what Jerry has to say next. Okay, I started rain. It started raining heavily outside, and I could hear thunder in the distance. Okay, this is a little bit getting a little bit creepy. Okay, let's see. Normally, I should have. See, now it's charging. Now you can see on top, it's charging. It's good. It's all good. My charger wasn't plugged in right. Okay. Uh, tell me, Lone Wolf, do you think I should get? Do you think I should get Twitter? I've seen so many people, so many people, YouTubers sit on Twitter, but I don't use Twitter that much as I don't really like the tweeting kind of stuff. If I want to help people, I like to comment on the comments on my videos and I like to help them on Reddit and on Facebook as much as I can. And Twitter is something like now that I never use, but if you guys want me to use Twitter, I'll get Twitter. So that will help you guys out if you want to. Hi SVT, I know you. I know you, you're my crew. SVT, shout out to SVT, he's a really good player. Uh, about giveaways? The giveaways is um, a different story. The giveaways, I can do giveaways if Natural Motion lets me to. The 10 gold keys that I gave away, I think, two days ago, three days ago, were actually keys that I won from uh, from a live stream. They get me 10 gold keys and I was able to give them away. So I don't know if I can actually get, like, if I can actually get new gold keys to give away. If there's ever an ability where I can buy or get other gold keys and get a car and maybe give that away, I will definitely 100% sure grab it with both hands and get, make a giveaway out of it. I heard that lots of you guys actually enjoyed it, even if you didn't win of it, you guys actually enjoyed it to join in and participate and for me it was also an awesome event to see 130 people actually on my video comment that they wanted to join in with the event. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw um, Seven Worlds Gaming on, on the stream today. Oh, wait, this is a trick? No. Wow, one gold. One gold? Really? One gold? You're really gonna do this to me? With my OCD? I always try to finish my gold on a five at the end. A five or a zero. Like when you try to put on the volume and now they're gonna do this to me. I can't live like this. This is painful to me. Lucas, I'm from Belgium. I'm from Belgium, like the little small country in uh, in Europe. The rain is pounding on the roof and the windows made a deafening sound. I enjoy how they put a real story with this. Like, they they actually did the efforts and I really, I really thankful for it. Really, thank you Natural Motion for doing this. Oh wait, I still haven't changed the title of my live stream. Damn it. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Oops. As you can see, I'm very new to streaming, like mistakes like these.
Okay. Now, hopefully, it should be adjusted. Forty million. Yeah, William. Forty million. One gold. But yeah, it pisses me off right now. One gold doesn't really make me happier this time around. Okay, race eight. Let's see what race eight will bring us. Word man, I know it's it's a pain seeing that. So I'll probably be buying some maybe some paint or some new interior to try to get that back to around number to five or a zero. I've heard you also get like four bronze keys to get that back to a regular number. That will be a pain as well. My OCD will definitely not be happy with all that. Getting the car is term of like everyone has to commit to the game to be honest like there are always some people on the bottom who don't really you call this a treat again like a treat really a rare, an uncommon or what was it was it a rare fusion pack for bmw okay it's roaring flash in a roaring flash the power went out okay so you've been playing some arcade, ga arcade games and now the power is off that surprises me no more arcade games for you, I guess, Jerry. Okay, race 9, let's see. My fastest car in the game right now is my Dodge Demon. I got it maxed out, and my second fastest car is my 918 Spider. I still miss one stage 6 part on it, but it's a still solid racer in 8.2. I mostly use it online racing. It's a fun car, I also have my Elite bonus on it for 55%. On top of the regular bonuses, so... It's... it's I'm, I'm kinda happy with it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Another trick. Oh, this is a trick one. Oh, no, 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 no. See? See, this is what I mean. You get one bronze key. This, this doesn't really make me all too happy at all. Through the racket caused by the rain, I could hear a faint rattling sound. Maybe a car in the background? I know the 918 runs maxed out 7.9, but yeah. Mine doesn't run that. See? Look at the, bo look at the top over there. 4,751. Like, do you really have to do this to me, natural motion? I can't handle that. Like, don't do this to me. Why must you hurt me like this? It's just painful. Sorry if I don't read all the questions of you guys. I'm trying to really get onto it with everyone. But I'm, like, this is the first time I'm streaming, so my setup is still a little bit, like, not really optimized. But I hope you guys are all enjoying it with a little bit kind of spooky background. I love how they made this game great when you race. Maybe in Thanksgiving you get a chicken as uh, a turkey as a co-driver, just to stay in the mood, you know. That would be funny though, like having a turkey as co-driver. It should really bring this to the game. Like let's let's vote for a turkey as a co-driver. Oh, 100 gold. That's that makes me happy. That makes me happy. CSR 3 thoughts? I don't think we will see CSR 3 anytime soon, as it's CSR 2 has now been out for one year and a couple of months. And it, between CSR 1 and CSR 2, it took about two years, I think. So it will take some time, and we still have Tempest 3 and Tempest 4 coming out, which today they confirmed we will see Tempest 3 early 2018. I know it's been a while, I know it's kind of ridiculous that it took so long, but after all, it should be coming anytime soon. So, okay, next... Next thing Jerry has to say. The rattling grew louder and suddenly stopped when something thumped twice on the garage door. Wonder who that would be. <laughs> Lone Wolf, yeah, everybody knows Top Gear. William is right. Like, literally everyone knows Top Gear. And sadly, the new Top Gear is not like the old Top Gear. And I hope they will bring back, like, the Grand Tour. I've seen the first season and it's like... That one was amazing. I love my ass off it so many times. It was getting a little bit forced, but they still have to get into it. And lately I've been trying to watch, like, a Top Gear on TV. But it's, like, the new one, and I don't like the new one. It's, like, it's with Matt LeBlanc, if I'm not wrong. And it, it's not really as amusing as I hoped it would be. Not the same. Okay, oh, look at, look at. The RS5 is also one of my favorite cars in game, the Liberty Walk. Not the regular one, the regular one is kind of normal. The Liberty Walk one, just, wow. Okay, let's see another race two 
One, go. Mm hmm. A good shift. Perfect shift. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can. Ah, we didn't even beat today's stream time. We must have had a little bit more upgrades. Or I'm just horrible at racing. <laughs> Could be both. Isn't it? Okay, treat. This is a treat. Come on, you can't. You can't call a rare nitrous part something like a treat. This is a trick to me. I got so many after all. I've been playing for more than almost a year now. I think next week, it's been a year that I've started playing this game. So if you want to build up, like you have to build up steadily and just play a lot. You don't have to grind the game to get all the cars. Wait, started off, startled, I, f I felt around the darkness on the garage, grabbed a torch and cautiously started investigating. Who has a torch in his garage? I definitely don't have one. No, some that I checked, I definitely don't have any torches in my garages. And even if I had a torch, it would take a while before I would find it. Okay, let's see. Next race. <coughs> this event got me really hyped up. By the way, this weekend I think we will see a Golden Cup event for the DB11. Which is which was a milestone car, two or three, no. Five or six seasons back. It's not the fastest car out there. So, and I don't even have all the stage 6s for it, so it's gonna be... gonna be iffy. Okay, wait, let's see now. Okay, next race. Samuel, as long as I'm not Captain Slow, I'm happy. Definitely please don't call me Captain Slow. <laughs> okay, let's see another race. Two, one. Hi Denver, hi. Denver is also a guy from my crew. He's like, he's a very, very good player. He's like just ahead of me in the standings, but he used to be like, he's normally a kappa. This season he's a little bit less than a kappa, but still like he has already 1.2 to 1.3 million score already this season, which is just insane if you think about it. Okay, let's see now. Oh, I didn't look what the treat was. Ah, damn it, I skipped it. I'm so used to skipping it. I flinched when I saw the car shadows dancing all around the garage. Ghost cars? Never know. Should I use my gold keys for the DB11 event or for the 50 Liberty Walk? Um, <laughs> That's a tricky one. The 650 Liberty Walk is a 5 star car, but it will be only out in not, in... not in 14 days, it will be out in 28 days, I think? Or maybe... no, it's gonna be out in 28 days after this weekend. It's still some time, it depends on how quickly you can get it. I would say for the Liberty Walk, as the DB11 is a little bit slower, so you, yeah, it's it's kind of like you can't really tell. It's it's really up to you. I would I personally would save mine for the 650 Liberty Walk. Okay, let's see now. Next race. Thirty-four days. You think that it's thirty-four days? Wait, I think normally wait this weekend. So now we are Wednesday. Uh, it should be around, yeah, it should be around 34 days until next Monday, and then finish out the event. Okay. Race 13 on a Halloween event. Yeah, let's see what this brings us. Against the Red California? Against Terry? Let's kick Terry's ass. Two. One. Perfect shift. Oh. Good shift, good shift. It's always better to have a good shift than a perfect shift, and sometimes the perfect shift, shift kind of is a little bit sticky, and it gets kind of annoying. And indeed, the 650s, the 650s stage six rewards are actually easier to get than DB11 ones, because I got my uh, Liberty Walk 650s already maxed out. Got 20,000 crew RP. Like this, I'm gonna pass Denver somehow. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, here it is. I, f I thought I almost forgot reading what Jerry had to say. This is the reason why I'm liking this event the most, and I'm so used to skipping so fast as possible. Before realizing it was caused by my hand shaking unconsciously. Oh, so you were scared by shadows, and then you realized it was your own hand? Damn, Jerry.
Question for Miller or anyone else. I want to leave my current crew, so any suggestions for a new crew to join? I'm most active in mine and I'm new, only been playing a month. Jamie, it depends. How much RP can you make? The best place for me to look, like, if I were to look for a crew, I would definitely go out, check out for Reddit. Oh, where is my, oh, gone. Gone. I would go on Reddit. And if I can't find, if you can't find any crew on Reddit, you can also check on Facebook. There are some Facebook groups which have an immense amount of people on it and immense amount of crews actually looking for people. So definitely those two places are the places to go to to find crews and find actually good new friends. Because like, I'm telling you, every one of my crew, the two fast for you family, we are with four crews, 120 people, literally all of them, we are one big family. We all li like each other, there's no fights, anything, we... We are one big unity, if you can call it like that. No matter the gap in RP or anything like that, everyone is equal for the same rules. Okay, let's do another race. Two, one, go. Yeah, again, a good shift. I need to really work on those perfect shifts. I need to train in case I ever get on the live stream with CSR to themselves as well. You never know, they might hit me up one day. Okay, oh, uh, oh, trick one, no, no, why you do this to me, Jess? 12 cash, really? Why you look like I need 12 cash? Really? My hearing may not have been as sharp as, my, as in my younger days, but I could still hear the rattling through the rain. Okay, this is getting kinda long. Like, I want to get over with this. Jerry, just tell me the end of the story. Hi, you. Welcome to the stream. Wait, my current RP. Let's let's see the current RP and the standing of our, of our crew. So right now, we as a crew are in 15th place with Dodgeton just in front of us. Greenville a little bit behind us. Texas Storm from the stream. Very famous group. Fam famous thing. And also, I need to say heads up, like... Shout out to Relentless, they have a they have a solid crew, they're doing very well, third place, hats off to them. And now let's see where I am. I am at 1.187, look, via the Venom, that's Denver, I passed you. Ah, probably by the end of the night you'll have passed me back, but yeah. This is a very solid crew, I'm really happy with my guys, this is the best crew I've ever been in. Really happy with it, okay now let's get back to the, to the racing part. Race 15. About Dreamville and Elite Allies, I will not talk about that on the stream as I I don't know anything of how the mechanics work with them. So on that matter, I'm really not going to discuss whether they are cheaters. If they are cheaters, shame on them. If they're legit, congrats to them. What matters for me is that I'm legit and that my crew is legit and that we are fighting 100% for it every season. And that's what makes it the most enjoyable for my crew. Okay, let's see another one. Good shift. Perfect shift, perfect shift, oh, and a good run. Ah, I should have shifted the last one. Um, Breeze, um, hmm. I will check out, like, Reese. can you maybe PM me? I showed you in my final vid, oh, wait, one minute, treat. 50 Bronski is not bad. I showed in my final vid how you can contact me through my account, through my YouTube channel, so if you can contact me with your line ID, we can communicate through that way and then we can discuss whether you can join next season, alright? Just hit me up through messages, I will check them after the stream. And like that we will uh, try to get in contact, but be sure you have to use LINE. With the torch I peered through the cold glass of the rain and wind battered window. Okay. Let's go on. Next race. My line ID is Miller CSR2, just basically like this. But if you guys ever have any questions, you know how to hit me up. But don't spam all the messages, please. I try to help as many people as possible. This is my line ID. Like this, you can always communicate me. It's very easy. I tend to help everyone possible. So hopefully I can help everyone. Because my goal is I want to be the guy that helps everyone. And I want to be the nice guy, you know. Nice guys always finish last. Yeah. That's not the point. Okay, what is this? Is it a Sylvia S15? 
Oh my god, in red it actually looks amazing. I have the black one from Kiya. And this one is... The red one actually looks a little bit sexier than the black one. You know the black one has those stickers on it. I must say what this game stands out on is the amount of details in it. If you just look... if no, Mostly when we race we're focused on the gears. If you just look at the backgrounds for once. Even though now it's with all the ghosts etc. But you should actually look at the background one. It actually looks amazing. The next PC car will be the S15 but the Liberty Walk one. Not this one. It's going to be a tier 4 one. It's going to be the one of the fastest tier 4 cars as well if I'm not wrong. For a split second, I caught a glimpse of a dreadfully pallid fi figure heading towards the back of the building. Ghostface, is that you? One minute, guys. I think I heard something outside. Getting a bit spooky over here as well. No, it's nothing. It's alright. Yeah, let's do... Let's do the next race. Race 17. This is moving actually quite, quite good. Quite good. The next car is the S15. We'll be getting more than, or we'll be getting more than one. The thing is, I want to get more than one every single time. Like the M4 GTS, I want to keep on pulling them because I really want that white one. But the downside of it is, I need to save my keys for next season because I really want that crew RP. So I'm, I'm sticking with the grey one. But I definitely hoped that I would get the white one. You never know. Maybe I will do two pulls at the end of the thing. You never know. Maybe you can get lucky at the end, but. I can do that because I got enough silver keys, but if you guys ever pull the PC card, the best thing, I, the best tip that I can ever give you is just save the keys. That helped me through so much time, like, I, I don't know if you've seen my video in terms of the keys. The beginning of the video did like a lapse of all the cars that I got from the Prestige Cups. I literally got every single car. Oh my god, it's a trick again. Oh, this time at least we get two bronze keys because that's really useful. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. Most people be mad at Donna, but now we all can get mad at Jess for giving us tricks like, tricks like this. Doesn't make me happy. Whoever or whatever was lurking was trying to get in. Okay, let's... They have added Mazda, and I'm hoping maybe they will ever add the RX-8. I love that car. Sadly, this game does not have any, like, real sounds of the cars, like the rotary engine. A rotary engine would sound so good in the game. The downside of this game is, like, also most of the players don't even play with the sound on. I personally never play with the sound on. Like, right now, I don't hear anything of the game. Because the game is all going, all the sound is going to the stream. But besides that, even at home, I don't really play with the sound on. And they should actually try to get some realistic sounds for the cars. That would make, like, change, change a lot of, change a lot in the game, to be honest. Two, one, go. Almost at race 20, I think. Now we should get moving, like, so far the competition has been very, very, very slowly. They should add the Furia. They have added the Furia in CSR 1, but I don't think they will add it in this game either. Like, it, the car is... how old is the car? 2008? 2009? Maybe 2007 cash? Really? Would have been more useful if it was 7 gold keys. They should add the Supra to the game. Yes, they actually should add a Supra to the game, but the thing is, it's again one of those old cars they will never add, unless it's like a modern variation of it. Which is like the only cars that they add these games that these days that are quite add old, old, old car, older cars like 2005, 2006. They're all Liberty Walk variants, except the ones that were actually already in game since the beginning, like we have seen the S15 or the Condits. Golf GTI Mark 1. Those cars are actually quite classic cars, but they have always been in the files from the beginning on. Also, the RX-7, I'm surprisingly, was supposed to be a Tempest 3 car for Tier 3, and now it's suddenly a Tier 4 car as a season reward. So yeah, I, it's really weird. I thought of getting in a car and driving the hack away, but with the power with the power rod, I couldn't even open the garage door. That's why I always get a manual garage door. At least we have one. They have added the Nissan GTR 2013. The thing is, like that, like I told, that's an older car. It's already been since the beginning of the game last year. It's not like they added a new car to the game. Now they try to add the most recent cars possible, like the C10, that the Tiffany that will come out soon. That's purposely drag-built car. 
It's also an old car, but it's a modified one, so modified can consider it as it. If you want to add a Supra, we might have to see like a drag pack Supra, Supra or something. Maybe that would be something interesting for in the future. Let's see. Ooh. Perfect. 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 It should be a good time, I guess. C2008 is when it was released. Maybe every other set reward is one. That's cool. Oh, this is a treat. Let's get some crew RP in. Oh, yes. I guessed that right. Crew RP. 30,000. I got already. I got 60,000 already. Going good. Denver, you'll have a tough time catching me up in the in the crew leaderboard. Are you still listening, kid? Who are you calling a kid? Hey, Jerry. I kicked your ass already before. I'll show you at race 30. I'll kick your ass as well. Calling me a kid. How dare you? <laughs> they should add the new Mercedes truck. Like a G-Wagon wouldn't be a bad thing as a tier 1 car, right? But if that's the case, we definitely would not be able to see the countdown. Because it's currently a little bit too high. Okay, let's see now. Two, one, go. Good shift, good shift, good shift. Ah. My shifts are a little bit off today. Thank you, Otto. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, the stream is very like smooth so far. I already figured out why it wasn't so smooth at the beginning. So, definitely should try to fix that in the future. But as long as the stream is working now, I'm really happy because I might be doing anything like this. I don't know if you guys prefer this kind of stuff, like a stream like this. Showing you guys what the event actually is, all 30 races long. Or if you guys would prefer like just a video with at the end saying what the final time actually is for the full for the full event so let me guys know what you guys think should be the best one yeah let's see now what jerry has to tell us this time the rattling sound was now coming from the old emergency exit door in the back okay Wait. it's real this is bullshit i waited two days but I don't have the Hellcat to play the event. You can buy the Hellcat for, I think, 850 gold. It's not really that much 850 gold. It's a, it's quite an investment. But tomorrow, we will get a... Uh, tomorrow, we will get the Golden Cup. Which will get you, I think, 300... You can get around 300 gold keys for every, gold coins for everyone. So, like that, maybe you can build up to get it by next week. Because the Trick or Treat event actually goes on for a full week if you don't have the car. Okay, let's see now. Trick or treat. Race 21. They should, add, they should add a Dodge Charger Hellcat. Oh, the Charger. Yeah. Yeah, the char I know what you mean by the Charger. Yeah, they should add one as well. But the thing is, they, they used to have a Charger back in the game. Was it the Dart? I don't, can't remember what it was. I don't really like the Charger. I prefer the Challenger. But, hmm. Electric cars just win the game. They... Probably won't be added as electric cars have only one or two gears. So that one will be just too easy. Like the Regera has only two gears. I don't have it. I never raced the Regera unless it was on daily battles. So sadly, I don't know how it actually works. But I think electric cars like Tesla. I don't think they will be added. And how will you race? You don't need gas. Will that mean that you can race forever without using any gas? You should add like an option thing. Charging station over there in the garage. Okay, trick. Oh, not a trick again. Jess, why must you hurt me? Like, two? Crew RP? Really? See, this will piss off lots of perfect cappers. Like, those people who actually do 300k a day every single day, all season long, those one will, won't be happy with the two crew RP that they get. It only took a few shakes of the rusty door to give away. To give away, sorry. To give away. Okay, let's see now. They should add the Mopar. I don't know if any of you guys played CSR 1. But in CSR... Oh, the event is only 25 races? I thought the event was 30 races. Looks like I'm going to beat Jerry very soon. Okay, let's see now. Ooh. Are they? And that Kaiman. That Kaiman is actually quite a lovely car if you race with it. It's the fastest tier 3 car out there. So it's a little bit faster than Amelia's Liberty Walk, but the parts get of 
parts to get them to the fastest lobby time is actually quite hard. That's why I don't use it that much, but it's definitely already building up, building in process. Okay, let's see now. Oh. For players like me, when I have a car like this already, so, so many parts on it, these events are kind of easy for me. So hopefully, like, I don't know, like in CSR 1, we had a challenge, like when a race and it said challenging, you would back out because it was really, really a pain. Treat, at least we're getting a treat. The an epic, an epic engine part for BMW. Like, I really needed that one. I think I already have 20 of those. No, not 20, maybe 10. Okay, let's see what Jerry has to say. I didn't know what to do when my legs were failing. Arms are weak, knees are, uh, arms are weak, knees are heavy, mom spaghetti. Hopefully this doesn't get copyrighted. Okay, let's do race 23. Oh, Joshua, I remember the Cobra Jet. The Cobra Jet, I had a shift pattern for that one. You could find shift pattern and you could actually win every single race with that one online without having to use engineer or anything with that. That was just insane. The Cobra Jet was definitely my favorite car in CSR 1. Two, one, go. Good shift, good shift, get ready. Get ready, we need to shift the last one. So yeah, they should add the Zonda F Roadster. Like I said, the older cars won't get added to the game. They only add like the newer variations like the wider instead of the Zonda. Okay, treat. See what the street gives us. Hundred Bronskis. These Bronskis, these Bronskis will come in handy when this weekend we'll drop in the uh, extra crates for the DB11. I've also seen some pictures of some special crates for BMW in case you wouldn't be able to finish the Prestige Cup event. As I wonder if the Prestige Cup will have a like a final time, which is like a determined final time. Wait, I'll first say that I was trapped like an old rat on a burger ship, on a burning ship, like an old rat on a burning ship. I don't know why I said burger. Okay, let's see. So what I was what was I saying? Damn it. <laughs> yeah. A little bit stressed still. Okay, next up. Race twenty four. It's the second to last race already. Hi ghost, hi ghost, gamer, ghost gamer, the ghost face YouTube, that guy, really good player, really good YouTube, he has some interesting videos on it, like tier 6, like, he has some valid points in that video, so definitely check that guy out if you haven't yet, but I think most of the people already know him, one, go, okay, one, good shift, good shift, good shift, get ready, not, not the best out there, but can't complain. This event is still kind of easy, isn't it? Okay, it's a trick. Ah, oh, second to final race is a trick. One, Bronski. That's this, that's this, my feelings. They do need an Aventador as they, I think they will add the Aventador as soon to the game. That, that would be interesting. Okay, the door opened with an atrocious screech. Ghostface, I think you're entering the this guy's garage. Get out of his garage, mate. Halloween is next week. Not yet. Okay, now we will go into the final race. Let me know in the comments, what should I do? Should I do the final race with my regular Hellcat? Or should I use my Liberty Walk one? Because I still have a Liberty Walk standing right over there. It looks a little bit better, but sadly I don't have any parts for it. I should put some parts on it. Let's see if I can put any parts on it. Not the fast one. See, I, I haven't ever put any fusion parts on it yet. But let me know, let me know, guys, in the comments which one I should use: regular or Liberty Walk. Because in my opinion, this guy looks just looks amazing. I love this one. I have the purple one. I wanted to have the blue one, but it didn't really work out after all. Oh, here's fusion parts. I'm gonna put some green ones on it. To make it a little bit faster, to definitely not miss out on the final race, because I really want those silver keys. Okay, I'll, with the keys, 
of the final race, if it's 50 silver keys, I will try to get a pull and maybe get the white BMW M4 GTS. Let's see if I can do that, all right? Let's see if I can try my luck again. We should make it a little bit faster, yeah. Now, okay, tune. By the way, I don't know if I showed you guys already how I tune my cars. How I tune my cars for fastest performance. I checked the time on the quarter mile. As we're racing quarter mile, now it says 10.184. And then I just tweak around. As I see... Oh, it doesn't fasten it anymore. Oh, too far. Okay, yeah, okay. Then I do the tires. Does change anything? Makes a little bit fast acceleration, but not much. Oh, oh that's too far. You went too far, Miller. Then the final thing that I do is the final drive. No, okay, that didn't help either. It turns out this time it did. Oh, I made it a little bit faster. 10.173. One, oh, no. I think it will, that will be around the time that we have. 10.175. I think it's still fast enough. Not really detailed. But if I tune it, I do it like that. I just go in and I keep on tuning, tuning, tuning until I find the right tune. Okay, final race. Let's see what we can get. Alright, okay, Jerry, show us what you got. Show us what you got, Jerry. Really curious. No, Jerry, no. Yes, see, I have to race Jerry. He called me a kid earlier on. Let's see if I beat his ass right now on track. He won't be calling me a kid anymore, will he? Three, two, one, go. Perfect start. Oh, that was horrible. That was a horrible start. Yeah, I think we got this one in the back pretty easy. Never gotten a 3 star. I've got one 3 star from Ron's grade, and that was really in the beginning of the game, and that was 650s back then. Let's see, whoa. 3? Yeah, those are the 50 silver keys people told me about. Yep, 50 silver keys, not bad. Liberty walk all the way. Hey, ghost face. I got a 5 star car from Bronze. I don't know if you can actually get 5 star car from Bronze, but if you got really, really. You, that means you got really, really lucky. Okay, let's see now. We did our final event. Let's see what Jerry has to tell us. My heart jumped in my chest I was face to face with. Donna. Really? Bruh. Really? You got us hooked all this time? This past 50 minutes to just figure out it's Donna? Really? She had forgotten her phone with Petro when delivering the cars earlier and she really needed to make some calls. Like Donna, just make sure to get me some better calls because my pulls lately haven't been too lucky so you better be calling the right guys. Gretlin came from an astounding amount of keys she carried around with her. I wonder if she also has some bronze keys. Story time's over, have a happy Halloween kid. See, he called me a kid even though I actually beat him in race. Come at me bro, 1v1 me. Okay. As we finish the event now, I will try to get one more pull in. As you guys can see I have 1650 keys left so that, that should be good for the next upcoming three seasons for prestige cars. So I can, I can afford to get an extra pull in here. Okay guys, so here we go. I don't have any tricks at all, so if this is any coincidence, I do get the 5 star card. This is pure luck, but I doubt I will get it. I'll most likely get it. end up with a 1 star Abarth, but you never know. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4 star card. Oh, damn, this is not bad. The only 4 star card that I still miss is the R8, the new R8 that they added. So I think, I doubt that it will be that one, but you never know. Come on, fingers crossed, come on. Fingers crossed, and it's... Oh, no! Not another Z06. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> I already have this one in the exact same color, so I will end up stripping this one. I wish I could give this car... I could give this car away. This is an awesome... This really is an awesome car. I... This is the car that I used for my Tempest challenges. Oh, what happened here? Something really went bad. On the stream. Just like... Eh? So, yeah, I will definitely strip this one first. If I could give a car away like this, that would be that would be very nice. Oh no! As you can see, this is a car. I have this one already maxed out. I think this was my first tier four car that I already maxed out. And yeah, I'm not too happy about it. It's it's a gorgeous car, but I can't use it anymore as I already have it. So I'll be stripping it. 
Goodbye, Stingray. Uncommon, uncommon. Rare. Rare, that's good. In case we ever get a new Chevrolet editing. Epic. Please, no stage 6. Please, no stage 6. Good. No stage 6. You guys think I should do an extra pull now with, I think, a little bit more luck? Let me know in the comment if I should try one more pull. I, guess I, I got a 4 star. Maybe I can get another one. You never know. You never know. I'm kind of tempted to it. Should I do it? Do it. Hmm, this is, this is, this is, these are tough choices. These are tough choices for, to be honest. I don't know if I should do it. No? Wait until the second part on bronze. Okay, one more. I had one more. Yes? Okay, here people, yes? Okay, I'll do another one. Okay, I'll do another one. So, I'll try that brick that Lone Wolf said. Wait until the second part shows up in bronze. Okay, we're going in bronze. Denver, you called it. Five star incoming. Please don't jinx it. First part. Second part. Okay, let's try it. Once the ah, ah. Please at least let it be a Porsche. Please don't let it be an Abar. Oh, it's at least it's a Ford Fiesta. It, it could be. It could have been a. It could have been an Abar. Really. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think I will just show you guys what my fastest car is. As I like to end on a nice notice. So, by the way, tomorrow... Tomorrow, I'm not show you this first. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna be buying this little baby right here. I still got three tries in left. I'll do one more try. I never, done, I never do those test tries. Like those stock test drives. I must say, I'm quite surprised they added these cars to the game. As I already thought the event would have been over anyways. Okay, let's see, Jason. Let's see what you got to me. Two. One. Good start. Not too bad. Jason, you shifted too early. Good shift, good shift. Oh, yes, this this is in the back. Chain this isn't for pink slip, so I can get his card as well. Okay. You win, but I don't win anything, sadly. And by the way, guys, they have also added the La They There is a thing coming here. This car right here will be the new fastest car in game. And if it's this one, this car has already been leaked to be the La Ferrari Aperta. And it's. Apparently going to be a 6.9 second car. 6.9 seconds. Now the currently fastest one is Plymouth GTX. And don't call this pay to win please. Because I know it could be pay to win. But on the other hand. Like in my video that I explained how to win more online. Look, the game is split up in lobbies. And if the game is split up in lobbies. If you have a faster car it doesn't matter. Really. Because you're stuck in the same lobby. He can't go much faster than that time. Unless he has a really huge down tune. But he won't stay in that lobby anyways for long. Does it pay to win? It is kind of pay to win if you were gonna bet 200k every single race and maxed out lobby, but besides that, every car is equal to the same rules. So, in my opinion, it's not really pay to win. And Braylon, about the price, yes, you say that the price should be between 2.99 to 3 dollars. You are right on that matter, but on the other hand, if you compare it to CSR1, in CSR1 you would pay for a car, it would be 5 euros. I remember 5 to 6 euros? seven dollars approximately and that's the amount that you had to pay for it but there was no event link to it here you don't pay for the car you pay for the car with the event itself so in the event you can get so much gold keys and so much gold and so much cash that eventually the amount you pay still a lot because if you consider how much you have to pay for some gold keys to get it maybe a three star gtr but if you're gonna go like that it's it's not worth it and on the other hand it, it is kind of it's money worth it but it, it's a very dubious conversation on that matter. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this stream. And hopefully I can do this again in the future. Maybe the Gold Cup this weekend. As I enjoyed it myself. I'm going to close off here. I finished the event. Surprisingly, it was Donna after all. 
sadly. I was hoping for a real, real shocker at the end. Turns out it was just the one who gave me this one star fiesta. So, hopefully the gold cup event this weekend will be interesting. I don't have all the car oh, I don't have all the stage sixes for it. Also, we hopefully we might see a Thanksgiving event coming up as Thanksgiving is coming up, and I'm definitely sh hope hoping for an event calendar system at the end and the snow coming back. So, fingers crossed for natural motion. You're really, really, really doing very good stuff in here. I really appreciate it. Also, thanks to you guys for all watching and sticking out with me for another hour. I know I can be a little bit whiny sometimes, but I really appreciate it that all of you guys stick down around here. William, you've been already from the game beginning of the game. Also, Lone Wolf, Reese, all you guys. Shout out to you guys, really. Diehard subscribers. Love you all. See you around. And keep racing.